Maybe 70 was good. Well, you'll have to let me know. Hi, Alice. Yeah, this, uh... Man, Vaporum. Okay, so where to, where to start? Vaporum is the game that was uh, originally launched on Steam Greenlight. Apologize if I'm slurring a little bit. I have a, I have a sore on my tongue, and so it makes it very hard to not lisp. Because it's incredibly painful. Um, thank you, Bob, with the host as well for a few minutes ago. Uh, Vaporum was a game that was released on Steam Greenlight a while back. Like, I think uh, two years ago, maybe. And... I've been keeping an eye on it for a while now, hoping that it was going to do well, you know, seeing articles here and there and looking at it and... Got an email about a month ago. I was like, hey, you should, you, you should play our game. Here's a copy of the game. You should play our game. It seems like a game that's right up your alley because I'm well known for, like, loving these types of games. These dungeon crawly, first-person puzzle combat kind of shit, like Legend of Grimrock, Eye of Beholder, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, they, they, they sent me the game and they're like, okay, well, this is when the embargo lifts. It's, uh, you know, September 27th. And I'm like, oh shit, it's like July. I want to play this game now. So I played like 45 minutes of it. And yeah, I'm just, I, I, I was incredibly engrossed with it already. Cause not only is it. Steampunk Legend of Grimrock, which already, if you're into that type of game and you like steampunk stuff, this is going to sell it to you. Because Steampunk's Legend of Grimrock sounds like it's right up my uh, right up my alley. Menus that actually work, I know. Must be a big and well-polished opening. No, no, it's just, I love the fat bot animation. I love it because it farts. It's a fat pot that farts. It's amazing. But yeah, made by Fat Pot Games. I'm uh, super stoked to play this. So let's just show you the game. Let's start a new game. <laughs> Beware. You can change the difficulty at any time. Yeah, we got casual, easy, normal, hard, brutal. We're just going to play on normal. You start off with <laughs> old school mode. Which uh, does not auto-map for you, which means that you're going to actually need a pen and paper to map the dungeon for yourself. Eventually, I'd like to do a Grimrock or a Vaporum run on stream where we do old school mode, actual pen and paper dungeon. Because it's it's it would be really cool to try and remember where everything was and write it all down. But And I'd have to, I'd have to do it in like a spreadsheet or something like that. Alexa, get with the 30 bits. Enjoy your vapor rub. Thank you for the 30 bits. I wish I had Vapor Rub. That stuff smells so amazing. Elite mode. Mode disables manual saving. The, ma the game will automatically save at the start of each level one time. So that is the uh, Iron Man mode, if you're familiar with Iron Man. Movement type classical. Yeah, full with a head bob. I just like the one old school... Old school movement. Yeah. Here we go. Salty stench of sea and chilling gale at my back awakened me from a disturbed dream. Dream filled with familiar voices and fear for my life. The bitter sense of betrayal stemming from the dream was interrupted by a sudden sound. In the distance, a monumental metallic monster as if grown into the rocks loomed over the sky. Despite the fear this colossus exuded, I was attracted to it somehow. Nothing to lose. I went after the light. The 
thorough examination brought nothing. No mechanism to open the door and no way to get inside. I resigned and sat down to plunge into my thoughts. Then I realized I had no memory of anything before I found myself on the rock. But I felt a strong connection to the giant in front of me. And at that exact moment, a sound echoed through the air. Invading my body as if identifying me. myself and entered. Wham, wham. Wham, wham. Frickin' Alexa. <laughs> Hope you enjoy that, that, that one bit bit badge. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh yeah use the wizard to move around the world on a grid use q and e to turn hold the most middle mouse button to turn and look around and f1 for instructions at any time oh, i'm inside now but i'm not sure that's a good thing <laughs> no pressure, man. I was just—I was just making fun of you because it was—I had a feel—I I had a feeling that's why you did it. Was for the for the badge. A lot of people like doing bits, not even because it's a money thing, but because it gives them a badge. I'm actually a bit badge hog myself. Let's turn the audio down to like six, eh, 55, 60. Maybe. We'll see how that looks. We'll see how that sounds. Everybody let me know. Feel free to let me know. Is this like one of those old schoolish type ones from a long time ago? Dude, you... That was like the most generic sentence I've ever read. Is this one of those old schoolish type games? Ones from a long time ago. Yes, this is exactly like the games on the Atari 2600. I don't know if you ever played a lot of the Atari games. This is... This is what those graphics look like back in the day. We've advanced a long, uh, a long way. That's such a pretty game, too. Can't exactly explain them. Well, if you can't explain them, then what's the point of asking the question? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Do you know what Legend of Grimrock is? Do you know what Eye of the Beholder are? Ma, do you know what those are? As I've explained, probably like seven times by this point. You do not. It is a tile-based dungeon explorer. Pretty much. Pretty much that's what it is. Pretty much. So I'm familiar with some of this. And that opens the door. I want to go over there. 
Ah, the working rig. We're a working exo rig beyond this point at all times. Failure to, do, failure to do so will endanger the lives of others and yourself. Yes, saving progress. Remember to save your progress by hitting F5, F9 to auto load. Probably the best part of the damn game is these rigs. But we'll get there in a second. Exo rigs. You can now choose to equip one of three available exo rigs from the containers. Each has a definitive strength over the others in certain areas. Beware, the choice is irreversible. The Thauma rig. Gain permanent tech bonus, also gain energy regen when below a threshold of energy, plus 30% tech, plus 35% energy threshold, plus 75% energy regen. Uh, tech is a yeah, my tongue really hurts. Tech is a statistic that increases your energy reserves and damage output of gadgets. No. I might let you guys vote on this. Heavy Rig. Gain permanent toughness bonus. You have a chance to redirect any incoming attacks to the attacker, taking no damage yourself. This chance is doubled when below a threshold of integrity. Plus 30% toughness, 25% reflect chance, and 40% integrity threshold. Toughness is a statistic that increases rig integrity, hit points basically, and the likeliness of evading direct attacks. And the Combat Rig. Gain permanent combat bonuses, also deal bonus damage with every third successful weapon attack. So if you don't miss, this one does a lot of extra damage. Uh, plus 30% combat, plus 50% bonus damage. Uh, combat is a statistic that increases the damage and accuracy of weapon attacks. So basically, fighter, tank, scientist, magician kind of guy. I like the gadget one. It's a steampunk game, like, when I hear gadgets, I'm like, I want to play with some gadgets. Heavy Rig sounds nice, but why, Alice? But why? You say Heavy Rig sounds nice, but is there a reasoning? Are you into the Heavy Rigs? Giggity. If only I could be so grossly <laughs> Alexa Kid, the Thai man himself has subbed with a Twitch. Sub. Welcome into the sub club, my friend. Oh my god, enjoy your sub badge, enjoy that emote, and, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for joining the sub club, my friend. Totally unexpected. He has kindled a bonfire. Welcome in, man. Thank you very, very, very much. That's a badge I can get behind. Well, the badge is actually behind you. Oh, ho! Badoom! Jish! Tank is better for early game? I have no idea. Being a tank sounds dope, but combat might be better for the long run. What's this anti-scientist, anti-gadget? like It's a steampunk game. Okay, so we got one vote for combat, one vote for heavy. And we got one vote for Thauma, the gadget rig, which is me. I'm voting for that. We need a tiebreaker. And the only person that I know that could beat a tiebreaker is a person who has TY in his name. Tyler, you wanna break this uh break this this uh this tie? Vote gadget man. Yeah gadget man! Sound familiar. I don't know why, but it feels like it's a part of me. Wonder if the door lets me through now. Press C to access your exo rig interface. So we got some uh, repair kit here. We can use with R. Weapon slots, gadget slots. Oh, I gotta go to sleep now. All right, Ma. Thanks so much for hanging out, man. We will see you when we see you next, my friend. 
This is inventory. This is where you can store your items and also equip them into your hands, armor, slots, and gadget slots. Press C to access your inventory. Left mouse button to pick up an item. Right mouse button to automatically move to it. Or move it to and from your inventory. You can take all the items from your container by pressing space. Mm. Slot locked. Invest circuit points to the Thalma catalyzer or fusion conversion circuits to unlock it. Circuits. Oh, yeah, the... A skill tree. Mm hmm. Dual wielding. That's all stuff we're going to be real into. Ah, fumium. Yes, indeed, fumium. Energy cell restores energy over time. Uh, energy required to activate gadgets, HP. If it drops to zero, you be dead. Come on, I want to touch it. Lockers. Ah. Ah, a crowbar. <laughs> it says happy anniversary, Gordon. Best crate opener around. You can use weapons to deal direct damage to enemies or destructible objects. Offhand, right mouse, left button. You can have two weapons set. Switch between them using Z. come in handy. And there's writing on it. Happy anniversary, Gordon. Who's Gordon? Gordon Ramsay must be. Winnie Bench, something for ya. Morning, Kinley. Here's something to get into the new crates with. Need them babies open by the evening. Don't do anything stupid with it. Okay. Ammunition. Nice. There's breakable stuff back here, wasn't there? Secret found. Repair kit. This is the integrity red bar of your extra work protecting you from lethal hazards and enemy attacks. If it drops to zero, you will die. Use repair kits with R. Dirty mags. This is this secluded nook looked like a perfect place to hide my um dirty mags. Nothing beats fancy Nancy, you know? But some jackass stole them. Hope they don't know what they were that they were mine. Adam Cray. Natalie. Adam. No, no. Break it, break it. Break it. Oh. Hmm. All right, nothing behind that one. So what? Ooh, auto map. Uh, your big reprise you was in a map that automatically updates to the floor. Press tab to see if it get lost. Nice. The email did come with like a full walkthrough for the, at least for the first area of the game. I don't know if it's the whole thing, but it's like 
the first major area of the game. I don't plan on using it, but it did come with one. Just like, uh, I feel like I have to state that. These games are known for being very difficult to traverse sometimes for people. Uh-uh. Oh! Oh! Oh, that crit! Oh, plus 10 fumium. That was unpleasant. My word. Oh, he disintegrated. Was there anything secrets? Hmm. Ah. This is so weird and interesting gameplay. Have you not played Legend of Grimrock? Christ, Rusted Key. Or any of those types of dungeon crawlers? Like the old D&D dungeon crawlers, Alice? Beware. Pay attention to when working near ground shafts and holes. Oh yeah, there's a hole right there. That's a hole. That's a definite hole. I've seen such a hole before. Wait, this is across where I just was, because that's the area where we got the rig. Nothing I can interact with there, but I can push this. Maybe into the hole. Yeah! I don't know if falling in there would have killed me or not. Ooh, more lockers. They appear to all be locked. I like that here, it's just one character, no party. Yeah, that's the one thing that really got me about it, is like, the idea that it's just you. You're you're just a dude that's lost, pretty much. Woke up on an island, completely by yourself. Worker boots, plus 20, er, plus 20 integrity. Get some boots, and a uh, Arx Vaporum. Ah, there's, there's the name. My Marcus was chosen by the Bureau. Hmm, a phono diary. Maybe with these I'll learn more about this place. <laughs> My Marcus was chosen by the Bureau to lead the Ox Vaporum, which is under construction out there on the high seas right now. We decided to accept the offer to live there. First and foremost, Fatbot, amazing job. One thing I need to say to all developers in the world, if you're gonna have audio diaries, Please let us continue to explore while it plays. Oh, I cannot see how much I love this. Our marriage must undergo. I stood by my loving husband through his years in the military, and I'm ready to support him now. It won't be easy. I'll be in charge of a fair amount of research. I'm actually going to turn the vocal volume up for you guys, the speech volume back up to like 75. Because I can barely hear it. Research in the tower. But my family means everything to me. Thanks to this commission, the Bureau will provide us with everything for a happy life somewhere on an island of our own. One day. Okay. Hey, I... Oop, the key. They sent me a new lad. Name's Ben Kinley. Not sure why, but he seems to crave the hard work here. Don't know why or what's so lovely about hauling crates all day, but he's a good kid. Maybe he wants to impress the big shots from upstairs to get to a warm place on the fueling unit or something. Ha! Too bad. No admin ever comes down here to see us. This is the dump. No one cares about. Winnie Bench, Chief Talier. Talier, excuse me. Ooh. Oh, it's a gun! The footman pistol! 0.4 second attack, attack time. Okay, so less than half second. One ammo usage, three tile range. That's nice. But it's got a two and a half second cooldown. 
I guess that's the trade-off for it firing so quickly. Firearms. Ranged weapons are powerful and allow you to attack from a safe distance. However, they do require ammunition to fire. You only need to have the ammunition in your... Ammunition? Ammunition in your inventory. You don't need to reload weapons manually. Nice. Now we're talking. Yeah, we're talking. Whoa! Keanu Reeves, guess what I found in the crates that came in yesterday? Guns! And lots of them. Couldn't help myself and took one just in case, like... Oh, it is actually Keanu Reeves. Ugh, I couldn't help myself and took one just in case, like... <laughs> might be some sort of meltdown. You never know, man. This, new, this now looks more likely. As I heard some experiments went a bit wonky up there in the labs. God knows what they're cooking up. But why the hell do they need guns? And so many of them. Hmm. Probably for the thing that I just fought, unless that's like a good guy. And it's just like a sentry bot that like... I don't know. Oh wait, no, I'm not Ben Kinley. I just woke up here. Oh dear lord. Hey, I- oh! I've played enough Grimrock. I know the tricks. This- this whole exploit in, like, the Grimrock tactic does not work with more than one enemy, and I feel like we're gonna have that encounter soon. Ten funium? Fumium, excuse me. That kind of stuff does not work when you have, like, three enemies on you at once. Grimrock was very, very good at, like, overwhelming you just to teach you a lesson. I hear so many things. Those creaks and groans, oh my god. Dual wielding. Equipping a weapon in each hand is considered dual wielding. While dual wielding, your likeliness to hit enemies is considerably lower, but you can amend this handicap by investing circuit points in a dual wielding circuit. Ugh, I don't have any circuit points yet. Shit. 35% precision. Jesus. Yeah, no. No, thank you. I have no circuit points. Fumium must be our, our uh, experience, right? That's gotta be the experience. Fumium supply, yeah, that's to level up. Supply in your rig, you over, your rig will automatically absorb fumium when destroyed enemies and fumium capacitors. Once it acquires enough, the power level will increase. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Nice. This might hurt. It's not gonna hurt. I've played this. I've played this style of games before. Oh, I gotta turn that one off, I guess. All right, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna hit that little guy right there, and then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go. Oh, yeah. Hey, tree frog. You doing, man? Oh, it's another repair kit. Oh, not the map. Wait a second. Not a door. That's a door. Have I played Demise Rise of the Kuten? I have not. I know the game, though. I know of the game. Ooh. Wait. I'm, I'm gonna just do the crowbar. That's... Uh, oh! Too much PUBG, man. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh, you little son of a bitch. I saw what you did there. Oh! I saw what you did there. He flies over the... Oh, environmental combat. I love it. Oh. Ah! Nope, can't do it. Another Grimrock game? Yes, this is coming out tomorrow. It's called Vaporum, and it is a steampunk style. Ooh, that's the brick. There you go. 
Steam, wait, shift mouse button is to pull one out of the stack. Nice. Steampunk style, like, dungeon crawly role playing game, much like Grimrock and Eye of the Beholder. Absolutely. Comes out tomorrow on Steam. This is the game that I've been meaning to, meaning to play and wanting to talk about that have been under embargo, Tree Frog. I, I don't know if you caught those conversations. That I was not allowed to talk about until today. And I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Studying at the Supreme Bureau University comes with prestige, sure, but now I can start my career, finally. As one of the proud draftsmen for the head architect of the Bureau, the Arx Vaporum is partly my doing. The tower is a testament to our technological advances. The Arx is going to bring about a historical breakthrough once we decipher the substance on the seabed, the marvelous Fumium, and we can show the world what it can do. We have such great expectations. Okay, so there was some sort of like lab experiments going on down here. I also see those spooters back there. The little searchlights. I can hear them skittering as well. Oh! Oh! He attacks real fast. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't want to get. Oh, no! Wow, five fumium for those guys. Jesus. If I have to encounter like, f you know, three or four of those dudes at the same time, I would not be a fan of that. I have both Grimrocks and played a Eye of the Beholder at release. Love the Eye series. And this is a game that you're going to want, bud. Oh, come on. They attack so freaking fast. They attack so fast. How much does this heal me for? Plus uh, 10 seconds, so it heals... 5% per... It heals 50%, okay, gotcha. But it takes time to do it. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. This is past where I got, so I'm I'm eventually I'm now officially venturing in blind. Ooh. More ammo, a shield. And some Runkrolf's gauntlets. Unique hand armor reduces the attack cooldown of Runkrolf's crowbar. Is that what I have? No, I just have a regular crowbar. Plus 10% integrity. Oh, we're going to totally wear those. If you like this kind of game, try Demise. Maybe even some servers where you can play multiplayer. I would probably not be interested in doing multiplayer, but I'll definitely look it up, man. I'll definitely look it up. Blue Pastry, how you doing? How you doing? Out of sight. Today I managed to get out for a bit to fetch the new cargo from the ship. Seems the supplies are getting thinner by the month. Anyway, it was a long, hard shift. I don't mind that much, though, as long as I get the breath of fresh air. And you know what's the best down here? I'm out of sight of the office. Ben Kinley, man. I got, we gotta figure some shit out about Ben Kinley here. We gotta, we gotta learn about Ben Kinley. That's... Well, it worked. That's not how I wanted to open the door, but... No. 
Oh, man. I'm, yeah, there we go. Sick combat. Oh, dear lord. Oh. Oh. Oh! You can't touch me. I, I just, I am the best. I'm gonna die. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Something terrible is gonna happen. Oh, we need a key. I need a key. Oh, silver key. Ground floor armory. The armory. Do it. Whoa. 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 Whoa! Whoa! Dude! Here we go, this is some combat. It's on cooldown. Fuck. Jeez. <laughs> hey, Modern Poet, thank you very much for the host. How you doing, Fakie? <laughs> uh, Tree Frog, I will probably not be on when you get back. I'm only going to be able to play for like another hour. I have some uh, recording duties with a buddy for his YouTube series going on at 7, so... It's only going to be like a short stream of this to check it out for you guys and give you guys a little bit of a brief look, but we might be playing this definitely more to more... But I do gotta finish Dark Souls. I do have to finish Dark Souls. I'm only playing this one because it's uh it just is coming out tomorrow and my embargo lift today, so. But I do hope to see you when I see you, man. Whew! When suffering from the deep gashes in the flesh, the target takes a small amount of damage over a short period of time, but greatly increased damage while moving. Mechanical enemies do not bleed. Oh, so I I by moving I was taking more damage. Wow! Wow, okay. I don't like those guys. What's this? Hey, it's a repair kit that I can use right away. <laughs> Alright, armory. Ooh. Ooh! <gasps> a dagger and a rifle? Oh my god, tell me all of the things. Firm plating, apprentice outfit, recruit mantle. I'm gonna take all of it because I don't know if I have like a an inventory limit. That actually might be my inventory limit. Shit. All right, let's look at this stuff. Oh, that pops up to let me know I can use it again. Nice. All right, so the crowbar is only six damage, but it's got plus 200% damage to destructibles, plus 35% damage to mechanical enemies. Dagger's got a shorter cooldown, shorter attack, same range, plus 35% damage to organic enemies. Uh, plus two precision, 38 damage, Jesus. Yeah, so this is the armor for us. This is the Thauma body, body armor, which is what we are. Plus 40 integrity, energy regen, plus 2 tech.
combat. Current bonuses, plus 30% to all weapon damage, plus 10 precision combat as a measure of your rig's physical combat prowess, ability to support wielding weapons and inflict direct damage. 39 energy, 39 gadget damage. Gadget damage? Gadget damage. Integrity and evasion. I'm gonna wear... I'm gonna wear this until I get a gadget, because for right now I don't have a gadget. And then once we start getting our gadgets and stuff together, we'll uh, reconfigure our our armaments. Another repair kit. And the silver key, there it is. Pounding! Ever since working here at the sea level floor, I noticed this weird constant sound. It's coming from below. It sounds like pounding. Almost like a heart. Just a huge one. Is it the mining gear deep down there in the sea? At the Fumium Core? Let's go find the Fumium Core. I want to level up. I want to level up right now. Dude, our health went up like a shit ton there. I need a key. I know you need a key. Nothing in there. Nothing in there, but it opens up. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear Jesus. There we go. Hmm. The spider dropped something. Might be useful. Hey Raider Nation, how you doing? Welcome back, bud. <gasps> Basic discharger. Gadget! Gadget hype. Unleash an electrical discharge. Oh, so I got his attack. It's an AoE. Crush causing area damage around you and applying shock to enemies. Hit. Shock deals damage over time period and greatly reduces the target's overall damage output. So it's a nerf and a damage. AoE damage plus a nerf. Penta, I just rewatched episode 24 of your Hollow Knight series, and I could not stop laughing. You gotta realize I have no idea what happened in that video, but I am glad that you weren't able to stop laughing. Please refresh my memory, because I have no idea. That was like six months ago, more than that, actually. Twenty damage, four shock effective duration, minus fifty percent total damage, half second cost time, or cast time, seventy energy cost. So I can only use it once for my energy bar because I have one thirty nine. Uh, one tie radius, sixteen second cooldown. Jesus. Gadgets. Apart from weapons, you may also find various thaumaturgical gadgets you can use in combat to outsmart enemies or buff yourself up temporarily to become stronger. Press 1, 2, 3, 4 to activate a gadget in the given slot. Gadgets are powerful, but also drain your energy, the yellow bar. Energy slowly replenishes on its own, but you will need to increase the maximum amount in the regen rate if you wish to see gadgets and use gadgets more often. Ah. Gotcha, gotcha. Shock effect. When struck by electric shock, the target's damage output is greatly reduced and they take some damage over a short period of time. Enemies capable of producing such a shock are resident or resistant to all shock effects themselves. Nightfall with a one bit. Welcome in, bud. How you doing? 
I'm not hitting the lever yet. I don't see what was in here. Oh no. I hit the button. This is not PUBG. I keep thinking it's PUBG. I'm using the wrong button. I keep going hitting tab to go into my inventory. I'm actually gonna keep this out for now. Good, how's you? I'm doing all right, man. How you doing? Even though you just literally told me that you're doing good. This thing from the spider fits into my rig. Let's see how they like being shocked. Oh. Oh, level up. Fumium. As you destroy enemies, your rig will gain Fumium, and after requiring enough Fumium, it will level up, increasing your overall power. You will also gain circuit points, which you can use to unlock or improve circuits. Circuits significantly improve your power in the given area. A higher ranks, you will unlock modules which further increase your power in various ways. You will come across Fumium capacitors, which grant you a Fumium permanently uh, when you consume them. Nice! Plus one circuit point. Uh, handguns, rifles, dual wielding. Wielding two weapons at once results in reduced precision each rank. Oh, it's 7% penalty reduction. Okay. So it's to drop the penalty down. Plus 30% integrity. Jesus, that's really good. Plus 30%. Plus 6% shield block. Plus 1 tech. Plus 30% recharge speed. Circuit enhances a connected connection to all installed gadgets, powering their hasty recharge. Decreasing their cooldown period. It's actually not profit, because you had to spend 50 souls to roll. <laughs> Fusion conversion. Each rank increases your energy regeneration rate. Do recharge speed. I think that's going to be good. What's this? Ah, Fumium Capacitor. Activate to permanently increase your Fumium supply. Yeah. There you go. Still pretty much a tutorial section, but I like it. I like it. Now this is a game that Vlad would like. Nightfall, please uh, confirm or deny this I claim. I have no idea what this monster I'm inside of is. Although I feel a little safer in the exo rig that I found, I have a suspicion there are a lot more surprises waiting for me. The weird blue substance I found in the capacitor seems to charge the rig and upgrade its function. But I still need more information. Maybe I'll figure out what the hell this place is about as well. You fell? Excuse me? The waterworks. What do you mean you fell? Let's actually put our mantle, our correct mantle on. Shit. That was a miss. Hmm. 
you leaned back in your chair and fell. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I still hear something. I think it's past that door, though. On this side. Energy cell. Restores energy over time. Ten second duration. Oh, so it's like a... It's my uh, energy repair. Gotcha. I miss Adam. I really miss my buddy Adam. That dude had one messed up sense of humor. Got fired over some naughty pictures or something. Now the new kid. He sure is one hell of a workhorse, but he seriously needs to lighten up, have some fun, man. He just keeps to himself all the goddamn time. I said this is this is the type of game that uh, Vlad would really like. And since you hang out there more than pretty much anywhere, I was wondering if that was a, a truth. The hell are those giant footsteps? I- oh no. The hell are those giant footsteps? I missed. Gotcha. Dude, I love getting ammo. Oh yeah, he would love this. I figured as much. A mace and a sword. And a family guy or something like that. Family gun. He found, I found a hidden corridor, a perfect place to hide my precious piercer. My precious piercer. There's a strict ban on guns here in the arcs. For us commoners, but nobody's gonna take a gun off the of off a of Beretton. My dad gave it to me, and his dad gave it to him, all the way back to the great great granddaddy. The great great granddaddy. We Berettons are taking care of ourselves. If only I hadn't bent the screw on the well bra wall brace. I just hope no one notices. Elmer Beretton maintenance. Yeah. He. Oh no. Fucker. Fucker. Oh. What? Okay, switch to set two. Set two is gonna be the gun. And that's Z, right? Oh, it's so good. Wait. Oh, that shield raises my overall HP. I like it. So aside from gameplay, what is this about? I don't know, the story has barely been unfolded yet. That golden key? I need a key. Another rusty key. Oh, if only we had Rusty here. He could help us out. I don't know, the story's pretty much very... Ooh, very bare bones at the moment, still. Still very bare bones at the moment. But I am definitely intrigued to find out more about it. kind of close. <laughs> You're telling me, bud. Repair kit and a rusty key? Hell yeah. No. Oh. 
Dude, I hate the fact that you guys can come from multiple fucking directions. Uh, kill him! He is so much health. Fuck. I'm messing my controls up now. I'm messing my own controls up. That's not good. He's gonna tell the story during PUBG tonight. I will most likely not be there. So someone's gonna have to let me know that story for definite. I'm gonna walk in it. Yeah, that's a bad idea. That's what it was. <laughs> we all knew that was gonna happen. Let's face it. We all knew that was gonna happen, but. Uh, maybe there's a way to raise the water level. I mean, real heroes go left, right? Oh, n hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, Z. Nope. Nope, can't hit from here. Oh, shit. Oh, balls. Oh, man, I'm... So into this right now. We'll sure do, dude. We'll sure do. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Unless they're playing PUBG like late, late, I am uh, actually gonna be in about 45 minutes or so. I need a key. Fumium key. What? Well, 45 minutes or so, I will be recording PUBG. The fellow YouTuber friend of mine, Alexa Kid for his uh, PUBG series. I'm gonna squat up with him for that. I oh, yeah, the hiccups. You dick. Got him. Give me ammo. Thank you. There's gotta be secrets, man. Secret, secret. Ooh. Nope, that's a door to this. <laughs> hey, Agent A. You have so much health. You have so much health. Oh, the brick. All in all, you're just another brick in the wall. Excuse me, hello there. What is this, that's a Fumium key? I need a key. The golden key? What are you doing to me, game? This game looks nifty. That is a word I would use to describe it, that's for sure. It is a steampunk... Oh! It is a steampunk game. Oh! oh. That's a fireball. Those are not my footsteps. Golden key. Is 
So yeah, Atlas, unless they're planning on playing PUBG like after nine o'clock or well, 10 o'clock their time, nine o'clock my time, I most likely won't be able to join them tonight. Hey, Hazard, how you doing, man? You're not sure what 100% sure what steampunk entails? I'd explain it, but you're probably better off just Googling what steampunk is, because steampunk is basically... It's futuristic, but in the past. It's what everybody wants the past to be, so, like, it's all, like, steam and steel and rusty, like, goggles and huge airships and stuff like that. It's, it's, yeah, you're gonna have to definitely just read up on it, rather than have someone explain it to you. Yeah, Nightfall, that's, that's pretty much the, the relative, yeah. My foreman, Mr. Bench, seems like a decent fella. He's a good sense of humor and all that, but he can't... But I can't let him get too close to me. Can't let anybody get too close to me. Not after losing my soulmate, Lisa. She was so bright and warm, and she got her nose too deep in the fumium research. I did warn her, but she just wouldn't listen. So now I've de dedicated myself to work. Work and nothing else keeps me occupied and keeps the blues at bay. Ben Kinley, nice. Today is the most beautiful day in my life. I found out that I'm pregnant. Oh, Mark said shit. I will have a baby. But still, raising a child here in the tower, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I will have to protect it from the effects of the Fumium. The thing is, I'm starting to doubt that we really know anything about its power or influence. I'm pretty sure, though, that if it proves to be dangerous to the baby, Marcus and I will go back to the Capital Island. We'll be a family, and that's much more important than any research or benefits from the Bureau. I'm going to take these, but I'm definitely going to use them. I'm going to use the Runecrofts. Those things seem awesome. Alright, golden key. Opens the door right here. Shit. Balls, man. <laughs> Fucking rough, man. What did I just do? Basic blowtorch gadget. Unleash a wave of fire in a line dealing damage to enemies hit and administering burning on them. Burning deals damage over time, period. Put to the primary target and the enemies are around of 25 damage, energy cost, 2 tile range, 12 second cooldown. Alright. When burning the target and the nearby allies, I'm taking me. Yeah. Uh, Roachling. We discovered cockroaches here in the Arcs Vaporum. They must have found their way in here with the supplies of fruit and veg. We quickly decided to eradicate them, but then Laura stepped in with a bold idea. Let's use them for research. We feed Fumium Enhanced Fruit Hash to these little pesky creatures. Well, little, they're growing fast. We had to build holding cells for them as they started to lash out at us. Very agile, quick, and hard to contain. I just hope these roachlings don't become too strong and break out of the cells. Observing their growth and behavior is marvelous, but there's risks we cannot foresee, I'm afraid. Jane Shane, Substance Field Assistant. Okay, so that's a time door. But my question...
What does that button do? What does that button do, and what does this lever back here do? What does that lever do? Is there a door I missed back here? Yeah, I can't open this door. Oh, I can go in here. So now I'm on the other side. Nice. So this has to connect, right? Wait, what? I'm going to try and kill them all. I see that guy there. That is a big frickin' cannon. That is a big frickin' cannon. Oh my god! He- Level up! Hit it! Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Screw you! Got him. Give me that ammo. Give me that ammo. Lack is back. What happened while I was gone? We found out there's giant cockroaches. <laughs> was there a dude just there? Did I just see a dude? I think I just saw a dude. Oh my god. What does this button do? Wait, what, what does that button do? There's a button there. What does that button do? I want to hit the button. Foringer, welcome in. How you doing, man? Welcome uh, welcome to the hive mind. Thanks for the follow, dude. How you doing? Ooh, oh, oh. Hold on. Let's listen first. Such fond memories of my study years. The Bureau had granted me a scholarship which I gladly repaid by pledging to work in the Arxvaporum for a seven-year term. My dreams came true. When I first arrived on Capital Island, coming from my home at Garion Islet, the astonishing sight of the labs, workshops, and all the machinery took me by storm. It was like Christmas trees covered with shiny cogs instead of balls and ornaments. It was heaven. Lots of folks grumble at the Bureau nowadays for silencing the critics and abusing power, supposedly. In my eyes, the Bureau is doing it right. Technology, order, and science should all be at the heart of society. I am where I am today, amidst the pioneers of the world, only thanks to the Supreme Bureau. Nice. Huh. What a nerd. <laughs> you were lurking in her giant cockroaches, so you're back. Yeah, apparently there's giant cockroaches. You were hoping for some Isaac. I hope that's sarcasm, because, yeah, I don't play Isaac, man. Recharge speed. Energy regen. 
30% integrity. There's so many things here I could do. Dual wielding is nice. Rifles I think I might want to upgrade. Blunt weapons. Blunt weapons. I've been using blunt weapons quite a bit against these mechanical foes. Uh, basic servo booster. Gain melee speed for a limited time. 30 second duration plus 30% melee speed. 60 second cooldown. Jesus. I might use that. Up oh, balls. Take, take that off. Hold on. I'll put this on there. Take that off for now. Thirty-eight damage, half second attack time. Thirty damage, but f less than half second attack time does two ammo usage, four second cooldown. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna give it it's a fair I'm gonna give it a fair chance. Can I sort this stuff? Like an S sort button? No. Could you ask me a question about the Discord? Yeah, absolutely. No Balls. I wanna go this way first. Keep it up, I'm off to bed. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for stopping in for the follow. I'm sorry that uh, you were hoping for Isaac and didn't get it, but uh, I don't I don't stream Isaac, man. And I'm actually not covering Isaac anymore, so that's it's a bit unfortunate for you, bud, but it's just the way it is. Oh, sneezes. Footman pistol. I already have two of those. Can I dual wield pistols? Gain precision with raised we ranged weapons for a period of time. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Thank you, Alice, for the bless you. What price will the game be? I actually do not know. That's the one thing that I was hoping to hear back from them about because I have no idea what it's going to cost. I would imagine for a game like this, probably 20 bucks. That'd be my my guess. Uh, with the shameless horror, am I able to show my zero? Yeah, Agent A. Anything that you are that you want to promote, that is the channel to do it. Whether it's artwork, music, anything you want to promote, absolutely, 100%. Yes, 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 yes. Promote yourself, man. Promote yourself. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go with the buffs. I think I like the, the idea of a buff more. Hmm. I'm seeing where we're gonna have to start dropping some stuff. Can I dual wield pistols? I totally can dual wield pistols, that's awesome. So I'm gonna organize this shit. I'm gonna put the gadgets down here. Uh, ammo and rifles and stuff in the middle, maybe. Shield can go, like, here, I guess. 
Armor can go up top. Melee can go here. Repair kit can go down with the miscellaneous, I guess. Sure, that seems good now. Actually, you know what? This can go down here. Yeah, that's fine. That can go up. Whatever. Hey, Penta, AG stream just ended, so here I am. Well, you've been lurking. You've been, you've had my chat open, man. You can't lie to me. I know you've been here. <laughs> I hope he figured out his uh, audio issues. What does that button do? I don't know. Don't know what that button does. I don't want to step on that. Not yet. The only way I know how. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. No. What does most wheel do? Most wheel doesn't do anything. I'm actually kind of a fan of that, I think. Bad idea? Maybe a bad idea. Close it. No, no, no. Close it. Close it. Close it. You don't understand, game. Close it. No. I'm gonna get flanked. Stop it. I need a key. I don't have a silver key. Accidental grenade. <laughs> Insert generic AG's chat sucks joke. <laughs> Welcome in AG and the Grenadier crowd. How you guys doing? For those of you that don't know who I am and who've tagged along, my name is Penta Hybrid. Raising the water level. My name is Penta Hybrid. Halfway there. I play all kinds of indie games and fun games. Right now, I'm checking out a new game that's coming out tomorrow called Vaporum. I've been meaning to be able to talk about this game for a while. I've been under embargo, but today I get to play it. So, hooray me! If you aren't already, consider following the channel if that kind of content interests you. There's a bad guy. I see you, you little bitch. Or is that a fireball? That's a fireball. We're good. Well, for me, I was following both streams. Alice, you're just a pro, though. You're a pro. Oh, dear lord! Shit. There we go. Got him. Not even a contest. Ammo. Ammo? Nice. Could always use more ammo. Going back into lurk mode, still have homework to do. Well, we'll let you know if there's cockroaches. We'll let you know if there's cockro co cockroaches, cockroaches, excuse me. Cockroaches, cockroaches. I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's a selling option here. They, these don't have values in them, so I might actually just leave this here. Or do I dual wield maces? Oh, Alexa, this game isn't run based, man. This is a straight through story game, so I can quit pretty much whenever I want. You said seven. I'm prepped for seven, bud. I'm prepped for seven. Hmm. I'm gonna take it because I have the inventory space, but I'm not gonna turn away from like dropping shit on the ground if I need to. Hmm. Ah. I already hit that. God, that's not the button I want to hit. Whoa! Hmm. 
Wait. I've been here. So I need to get over there? Hold up. Wait a sec. Ah, the poison. Okay, we know, we know. All right, straight. Yeah, this was where Lightning Dude was. But I've been in here. Didn't I go straight? Or am I... Oh, I didn't open that door. Mm. All right, Agent A, thank you so much for stopping in, but we will see you when we see you, man. Catch you later, bud. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Okay, well, that's the fireballs. That's the key. fumium key. I need to go up there. I need to go up there. So we need to go straight. Thank you, Mellowwood, for the follow as well. Wait, what was... What was down here, though? <sighs> the pit. That's right. Shit. Give me my rock back. My brick. She's a brick. Ba -da -da -da. How's... You ass. Open. Open. Ah! He's used the brain. Oh, shit. They got me. They got me. I was debated. I was debated. Son of a bitch. I didn't save, did I? Wow, right at the beginning of the level. God damn it, me. Penta I no dumb. Idea what this monster I'm inside of is. Although I feel a little safer in the exo rig that I found, I have a suspicion there are a lot more surprises waiting for me. Wow. The substance I found in the capacitor seems to charge the rig and upgrade its function. And I still need more information. Maybe Serves you right. Dumbass. Well. Serves you right, dumbass. Whew, that was a not a good, not a good. Shit. You heard dramatic stuff, what happened? I died and lost all of our progress so far, except for the first stage of the game. That's right, it's gonna be easy enough to get back there, I think, before we quit. I'll remember to save. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. All right, speedrun strats. Boop. <laughs> Saved. Thank you. That's the beginning! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh.
Ammunition and a repair kit. Nice. That means I gotta fight that freaking cockroach again, don't I? Cookie Maiden! Welcome in, lady. How you doing? Haven't seen you in a bit. How are you? You're in the wrong stream? What do you mean you're in the wrong stream? Now I'm confused. That was kind of close. <laughs> Penny Sama, that's right. It's me. It's been a long time. Oh, I knew you were going to be there, you son of a bitch. Oh! Fucker. Come on. Oh. It dropped in the water. You son of a bitch. It dropped in the water. God. Uh. Oh, the Twitch app, yeah, with the slides. Not a fan of that. So good at this game right now. Hansel's so hot right now. That's the key. fumium key. All right, bye, Cookie Maiden. This was the gun place, right? Shit. 
forgot that guy showed up for a second. Alright, this is where this stuff comes in. So I'm going to take the shotgun for this build for right now. I'm actually just going to use that. Such fond memories of my study years. The Bureau had granted me a scholarship which I gladly repaid by pledging to work in the Arxvaporum for a seven-year term. My dreams came true. When I first arrived on Capital Island, coming from my home at Garion Islet, the astonishing sight of the labs, workshops, and all the machinery took me by storm. It was like Christmas trees covered with shiny cogs instead of balls and ornaments. Balls! It was heaven. Lots of folks grumble at the Bureau nowadays for silencing the critics and abusing power, supposedly. In my eyes, the Bureau is doing it right. Technology, order, and science should all be at the heart of society. I am where I am today, amidst the pioneers of the world, only thanks to the Supreme Bureau. Huh. What a nerd. Playing a little safer now. Alright, so I'm gonna take all this shit. I'm actually gonna put this on there for now. Drop that down there, put that there. Extra flintlock can go here. That can go down here. That can go down here. That seems a little better for the circuits. We already put one in there, so we're going to still put one in the blunt. I think the blunt weapons is a good choice. I'd like to get back to where I was, but if that's not the case... I need a key. We'll have to wrap it up here in about five minutes. That's gonna raise the water level. Dude, I'm I'm I am sold on this game. I am sold on this game. Holy shit! I love the Grimrock like dungeon crawly style of games, man. Makes me really want to go back and revisit Grimrock two because I never actually played through Grimrock two. Played through Grimrock one. That. Epic miss. Oh, risky shot. Ooh, that was stupid. Oh, wait for science. Oh, <laughs> yes. I made you shoot each other. You wanna fight me? How about fight each other, dicks? Give me that ammo. Give me all of your stuff. Wait, I never got the flame one? Where did I get that fire one? I got the fire one after the cockroach, right? I don't remember. But yeah, I gotta go back through this door, right? No, I gotta go back this way. Then there was a cockroach, I believe. Where was the cockroach? There was a cockroach, maybe it was down here? I don't remember. Hmm. This is poison area.
Was it through here? Because that's Fumium Key area. This is locked. Mother of God. I'll put that on real quick. There we go. Wait, this is the Fumium key, right? I yeah. A key. I have so much ammo as well. Yeah, this is where he was, so I actually gotta prep. I'm gonna get the sword out. That's good against organic enemies. Stupid. Very stupid of me. Oh, shit. Or I'm, or I'm completely wrong. I've been wrong before. So that's two bricks I have now. This is where that guy came. This is where the cockroach came from. Today is the most beautiful day in my life. I found out that I'm pregnant. Marcus and I will have a baby. But still, raising a child here in the tower, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I will have to protect it from the effects of the Fumium. The thing is, I'm starting to doubt that we really know anything about its power or influence. I'm pretty sure, though, that if it proves to be dangerous to the baby, Marcus and I will go back to the Capital Island. We'll be a family, and that's Fucker. much more important than any research or benefits from the Bureau. We gotta wrap up. We gotta wrap up. I'm being a terrible, terrible guy right now by keeping my people waiting. All right. Oh, wait a second. Do I have to hit both buttons? That's where I get the fire one. You know what? Hold on. You know what? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna save here. Stream file. I'm gonna save here because I actually have to go. I have to get a drink and we have to get ready for some recording with one of my YouTuber friends. So, And that starts at about three minutes. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by for this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed Vaporum, the first look at this game. It releases two Marrow, it's by Fatbot Gate. Excuse me, Fatbot Games. I'm gonna try and get the link for you here real quick. So that y'all folks can go get that shit put in your wish list. Purchase it yourselves. The game is gonna be out tomorrow. It conveniently it just posted it as soon as I posted it. Thank you, Mega Stan. I genuinely hope you guys are interested in this game. I am going to play the hell out of this game. Let me know in the Discord if you want me to play it on stream more. And, uh... Otherwise, I'm just going to probably play it in my own time. Because I will probably play the hell out of this game. It's right up my alley. Uh, as far as Alice is concerned, Alice, let me know. 
uh, within like the next hour or so if AG is planning on playing late tonight PUBG, because if he is, then I will definitely swing in and play some rounds with them, because I'll be up late. I don't work tomorrow, so I'll be up late. But I am obligated to do some recording with my friends here in a bit, so... And this is mostly out of a courtesy for his channel, because I this isn't going to go up on my channel. It's just going to go up on his, on his channel. So, y'all are amazing. If you haven't already, consider following the channel so that you can get notified when I go live. And uh, thank you all for the support, follows, hosts, all that other stuff. Y'all are amazing. And I will see you uh, potentially later tonight. Catch you guys later.